Uh, most of you have smartphones, so there's no surprise over here. But do you know that the telephone also has also become a medical device? In fact, um, all of you can do searches on the web right now and, and garner a lot of information. It's easy to uh, get these you know, health apps and so on. We know about that. There's no surprise here. But did you also know that your iPhone could double as a glucose meter, as a cardiologist? In fact, uh, this device that I have on my, uh, on my iPhone, this case over here, I touch the two leads, it does an EKG. It emails the EKG to my cardiologist if I, uh, if I need to. And in the future, I won't even need to do that. My cardiologist drinks. I'd rather have a computer analyze it, and that may well be possible. I'm going to talk more about that. And we're headed for uh, a period called the quantified self, where you already, th these are all uh, inventions that are available now or will be available in the next year or two. You have all sorts of uh, sensor devices uh, which detect um, uh, how, what you've been eating, how you've been behaving, uh, the state of your health. This is becoming pretty pervasive right now. I don't know if you people have used Fitbits or Zeos. For example, they monitor your walking patterns, they monitor your sleep. These technologies are, are uh, commercially available more or less right now. And then there's a the human genome. About a decade ago, uh, Craig Venter made big news by announcing that he had beat the government at sequencing the genome. The government, government had spent ages uh, with the human genome project, and it was big news um, um, that Craig Venter came along, spent a tiny fraction of what the government did, something like $100 million, and was able to uh, sequence the human genome. These efforts took decades. But the cost of uh, human genome sequencing is dropping at a double exponential rate. And guess what it costs to sequence an entire genome right now? About three or $4,000. Within the next few months, we're down to $1,000. Within uh, three or four years or five years, I'll demo my iPhone case that sequences the genome. What does this mean? We've become software. That the same technologies that um, power Silicon Valley, the apps, the Google searchers, the um, startups are saying, you're going to see the same types of progress happening in the realm of uh, human health now. You'll be able to now correlate uh, your DNA to uh, your health patterns. You'll be able to compare them with other people. You'll be able to find out what remedies have and haven't worked for other people and modify your lifestyle. We'll be able to develop personalized medications. This has all become possible because of the genome.